What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the changes coming to Nightmare Dungeons and also some changes coming for hardcore players. Before I get into all the details, be sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, which everyone is welcome to join. My Twitter, if you'd like to follow me on social media. Of course, if you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing as well. Now, when it comes to these changes, it looks like it's going to be Sometime into July, the developers have not confirmed an exact date just yet. So we could be lucky and maybe get this sometime by the end of this month, but most likely not going to happen. But the changes, I think, are something that a lot of you are going to like. The future update, Nightmare Sigils, will teleport players to the Nightmare Dungeons. This way, players will to get to the Nightmare Dungeon a lot faster, which, of course, I know the community is going to like. Because it takes time, of course, to have to travel to that Nightmare Dungeon and you're not always going to have a fast travel point really close to maybe some of these dungeons. That will be a big, just kind of, just ease of access or, uh, improvement to me because that way it will be easier to travel back and forth between them. That way you're not taking time if you're trying to farm Nightmare Dungeons, taking time out to travel you know, from one to the other. Not only will players be able to travel directly to Nightmare Dungeons, but the dungeons themselves are going to start giving out a lot better rewards like more XP. So this is going to be kind of made for those players that are grinding out those levels still. If you're not to 100 yet, this will be a great way to kind of you know grind out levels by being able to do Nightmare Dungeons, being able to get more XP. That will be a good thing as well, and that could become, become a source of players kind of grinding levels in general when they get to a certain point, you know, after they hit level 50. Now, when it comes to hardcore, this, there's a lot of issues right now with hardcore players being killed in the game by not really you know being killed by something that an enemy it's something like disconnects uh connection issues and that is very frustrating especially if you've gotten into a high level because if you do not play hardcore how it works is once your character dies you start all the way over back at level one so you have one life uh, this change uh, that they're going to implement will make sure that disconnects and other errors in game do not give you that you know, falling in battle death. And once you start the game back up, you know, your player has reset. So that will be something else that they're going to implement in this new update. Anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick kind of, you know, overview of what's going to be going on with some of these quality of life changes and some good fixes, um, you know, in the future here coming. I, I would say hopefully by the beginning of July, we'll have to wait and see whenever they give us some more details on this. And I'm assuming there's probably going to be some other changes as well with this update, but that's just two, two things that the developers decided to go ahead and outline to let players know exactly what they're looking to change in the future of the game. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.